Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a fisheye or pincushion transition effect. So let's highlight our project media bin and then go to File, New, Adjustment Layer. This will create a blank adjustment layer media object for us to work with. That'll allow us to click and drag it out over multiple clips or two clips in this case and apply effects in between both of those through the cut. So I have a couple clips already on the timeline here you can see and there's a cut between each of them. So I'm going to place one adjustment layer right over top in between where I want the transition to happen. If you use the arrow keys on your keyboard up and down while the track is highlighted, you can highlight directly on the cut. So I have enough room to work with here, probably not even going to use all of this adjustment layer. Now to begin creating the transition, we're going to go to the effects panel on the right hand side, open up the video effects folder, and then under the distort, you want to find one called lens distortion. You're going to click and drag this on the adjustment layer, and then everything should be set to zero from default, so you shouldn't see anything happen. But here we can adjust things like the curvature and decentering. So if I click and drag this leftward, you could see it creates that pincushion distortion or kind of like a fisheye effect and pulls the edges outward and kind of adds a cool warping look. So if we combine that with keyframes in between the two clips, we can create a little bit of a zooming, distorting transition. So make sure you're highlighted on the middle of the cut. Like I said earlier, you can use the arrow keys. And then click on animate the stopwatch icon here to create a keyframe. For the curvature, you want to set it to a negative amount, anywhere from negative 50 to 100. 100 is the strongest. But you just want to pull the edges outward like so. We're using a negative amount because if you use a positive amount, then it pulls the image inward and you start to get some of that white background or alpha fill, which we don't want. So this middle keyframe, I'll set it to negative 75. And then you want to use the arrow keys to go left about five keyframes. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then set this to zero. And it should automatically create a keyframe that starts at zero. And then when you get to the middle cut, one, two, three, four, five, it's at the maximum curvature. And then go to the other side, five keyframes. So one, two, three, four, five, set that to zero. And now we have a smooth swing from zero to zoom to zero, which creates our transition. If you want, you could even play around with the vertical horizontal decentering that swings things either to the left or up or down to the right. But just remember, you'd have to animate the keyframes and create a keyframe from, from zero to a certain amount in the middle to zero again, so that you're not left with any of those weird edges. And just make sure you don't get any edges during the transition. So I can see here, I'm not really even using all of this adjustment layer. I can move over one, two, three, four, five, six, and then chop it, do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six on the other side, chop it and delete these ends that I'm not using. And I should have my adjustment layer nice and clean for me to copy around if I want. I can command C or right click, copy it or alt click it and drag it over to other clips or tracks as well. Just make sure that the keyframes align in the center like they did before. So that's how to create that pin cushion fisheye distortion effect. Really simple. You just use that lens distortion effect. If you enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. I am trying to upload every day. I hadn't missed a day in several months, but I did get a little bit sick. Had to miss a couple days. But regardless, thank you to everyone that subscribed since then. If you want to stay up to date or know, you know, if I'm missing days or any updates, then follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Instagram and Twitter. All the links are in the description so you can stay up to date, know what's coming behind the scenes and all that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.